Exercise 18. On May 11th, your company accepts delivery of $38,500 of merchandise it purchases for resale from Troy Corporation. With the merchandise is an invoice dated May 11th with terms of 310 net 90, FOB shipping point. The goods cost Troy $25,795. When the goods are delivered, York pays $350 to express shipping for delivery charges on the merchandise. On May 12th, York returns $1,400 of goods to Troy, who receives them one day later and restores them to inventory. The returned goods had cost Troy $938. On May 20th, York mails a check to Troy Corporation for the amount owed. Troy receives it the following day. Both York and Troy use a periodic inventory system, and we're asked to prepare journal entries to record each of the merchandising transactions assuming the periodic inventory system is used by both the buyer and the seller. First, let's do the journal entries for the York Company, the buyer. On May 11th, the date of the purchase, debit purchases $38,500 and credit accounts payable. The goods were shipped FOB shipping point, so these became the property of York as soon as they were shipped. The cost of incoming freight is absorbed by the buyer. The journal entry is a debit to transportation in $350 and a credit to cash. When the goods are returned, the journal entry is a debit to accounts payable for $1,400 and a credit to purchases, returns, and allowances. And when the payment is made, debit accounts payable $37,100, the $38,500 minus the $1,400, credit cash for 97% of $37,100, 35987 and credit purchases discounts for 3% of 37100 $1,113. Notice that under the periodic inventory system, the merchandise inventory account is not used throughout the process. Requirement 2 asks us to prepare the journal entries for the Troy Corporation, the seller. On May 11th, debit accounts receivable $38,500 and credit sales. There is no journal entry for cost of goods sold on the date of the sale. The $350 freight charge is only pertinent to the York Company. There is no journal entry for Troy. On May 13th, when the goods are returned by the York Company, debit sales returns and allowances $1,400 and credit accounts receivable. And then when payment is received on May 21st, debit cash for 97% of $37,100, $35,987, debit sales discounts for 3% of $37,100, 1113 and credit accounts receivable for $37,100.